it's not safe for her to be running around out here in bear wolf and coyote country. Thank you.
Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Old Southern Pine. Fiona and I are back out again and in a brand new TP hot tent from King Camp and testing out a brand new stove from Dan Chill Outdoors. This is the T6, so it's a slightly smaller model than the other one, uh, but still a brand new stove from Dan Chill Outdoors. So pretty excited to try that. It is a bright, sunshiny, and very cold and windy day here in Minnesota. It's in the 30s right now. It's going to be getting down into the 20s, high teens tonight. And uh, yeah, we're going to stay perfectly warm in here. So thanks for joining us. And we're looking forward to having a good time out here with you guys. All right, y'all, we got camp rest of the way set up. Got my hay trip cut, which was a little extra weight to carry back in. But, uh, you know, when you're in a hot tent and it's going to be getting down well below freezing every night, you want to be able to get yourself up off the ground just as much as possible. Even just a few inches like this is really going to make a difference kind of getting you up into that heat channel, for lack of a better word. We are in bear country and there have been some bear sightings up in this area. So we are going to cook dinner and then we're going to hike uh, a little ways back to the truck uh, just to be able to lock all the food up tonight. We've got everything set up now. It's time for supper. Once we get supper done, we are going to be taking it back to the truck just to be able to lock up all food, dishes, anything like that that might attract bears in the camp. I'll give you guys one guess what we're having for supper tonight. If you guessed steak, you guessed right, you win. We've got steak, onions, and mushrooms. So we're gonna grill that up here on this new stove. We've got it burned in nicely. Uh, anytime you have a new stove, you always wanna let it burn for a few hours, uh, just to kind of burn off any oils or anything like that. If you have a titanium one, like I do, then, uh, then you only need to burn it off for a couple of hours. If you've got a steel, it takes a little bit longer, uh, you know, somewhere between five to six hours. If you've got a like a painted one, if it's got like a black paint over it, you're gonna to wanna to burn that for about 10, 15 hours in there just to be able to cure that paint and be able to burn off any anything, any toxins that are on it. Um, you know, th this titanium stove, it had a little bit of like uh, manufacturing, like machining oils and stuff like that on it that you just wanna be able to burn it off. You can, you can definitely smell when you first light it up and it starts to get hot that you're burning off fumes of some kind, so. We've got that cleaned up now. So yeah, let's get dinner going. I'm getting hungry. inside this hot tent, this titanium Dan Chill outdoor stove, even, even though it's a smaller version, it's the T6. And I'll leave a link in the description below for this and the tent, as well as all of my other gear that I use. It is so nice, even with the doors open, it's probably 25 degrees outside right now, Fahrenheit. And uh, yeah, in, inside here, it is just really, really nice.
little bit dry. I'd already chopped up the mushrooms for me. Montreal steak spice going on the steak. Back on there. Just about perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, we're gonna dive into supper here. We'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. y'all I would say it's just about time for a night hike I don't know if you guys can see it or not but it is actually starting to snow a little bit and that wind is just hammering Crescent moon out tonight. And for those of you guys that were worried about it, I am carrying Fiona on our night hike tonight. I don't have her harness with me tonight, so well, we still wanted to be able to get out and kind of stretch our legs for a few minutes. It's not safe for her to be running around out here and bear wolf and coyote country See the light there. We left back on it, tent. It is way back in here. Give you guys a little quick tour home for the night. Absolutely beautiful location here. Way, way back in the Minnesota State Forest. And a little bit of snow starting to accumulate here.
All right, y'all, we are tucked into the tent for the night. We're going to curl up. We're going to watch a movie. Look at this fire for a little bit, and we'll catch up with you guys first thing in the morning. Good night. Good morning, y'all. Welcome to a very cold, very frosty, and very windy day here in the State Forest. <clears throat> We've been up for about the last hour, but haven't been able to convince ourselves to get out of that nice warm sleeping bag. And uh, just kind of having a nice lazy day in, listening to the, uh, the wind whip through the pines. So I think we're going to skip breakfast this morning and just ball everything up, deal with it when we get home. I hope y'all have had as much fun on this trip as we have. If you have, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting down below. We love getting all the comments from you guys. And until we meet again under the old Southern Pine, stay safe and God bless.